No snap, cover, hit, throws into the end zone. Top touchdown, Bears! It was a bailout throw to Matt Forte, left corner of the end zone. On a bad snap, cover, picked it up, threw it perfectly to Matt Forte with a step into the left corner. And the Bears have the lead, 18-17. Clutch Cuddy. It was a devastating day for the Kansas City Chiefs. First, they lost, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be smiling here, Jamal Charles to what they fear is a torn ACL. Then Jay mm. Cutler threw two fourth quarter touchdowns and rallied the Bears to an 18-17 win over the Chiefs. Stephen, I need eye contact for this one. Do you owe Jay Cutler an apology? Do I owe Jay Cutler an apology? Yeah. Let me repeat her question. Do you owe Jay Cutler an apology? This is not appropriate to say, but I, I think my initial response would be, do both of y'all need to get tested? <laughs> me? Apologize to Jay Keller for what? Because you want a game? I mean, are you kidding me? What, do you want a cookie? I mean, please. Mm -hmm. I'm not budging one bit, Jay Cutler, as far as I'm concerned. I will acknowledge this. Yeah. I'm still not impressed with him. He doesn't move me. He would not be my quarterback. I am still of the mindset that he's the worst possible quarterback for the Windy City. That great sports tab that it is, it's damn sacrilegious that they've got him as their quarterback. Mm. I'm still of that mindset. Mm. But I must concede mm -hmm. that that was a really good pass to Matt Forte mm -hmm. to win that game yesterday against the relatively injured Kansas City mm -hmm. defense. They're not the same, and now that they've lost Jamal Charles with a game manager as your quarterback, San, San Kansas City fate is sealed. They're not going anywhere this season. Mm -hmm. You know, God bless Andy Reid, who I'm a fan of, but they're just not a very good football team right now because they've got too many injuries and they've got a game manager as their quarterback. It's mm -hmm. just that simple. But I will say, and now obviously Jeremy Macklin bobbling that pass, putting it, which would have put them in a position to, win, to, to kick a game-winning mm -hmm. you know, game field goal would have been nice, yeah. but it didn't happen. Let me say this. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Jay Cutler, I still don't find him to be that impressive. He still doesn't move me. Now, I must concede that listening to Matt Slauson. Concession here. Yeah, mm -hmm. concession. Mm -hmm. Listening to Matt Slauson, mm -hmm. you know, talking about how command of the huddle seems to be mm -hmm. better, mm -hmm. the communication seems to be better, mm -hmm. he seems to be more motivated and more hyped than he has ever yeah. been mm -hmm. in all of his time in Chicago. Maybe he heard you. John Fox seems to be having a positive impact mm -hmm. on Jay Cutler. Okay. If you want to say that, I'll admit that. I mean, I'm seeing, I saw something good yesterday that's very foreign for me mm. when it comes to Jay Cutler. I mean, I actually saw, you know, the dead clock be right twice a day mm -hmm. when, yeah. when it comes to him. Usually I didn't think that theory applied to him. Pretty much he's always wrong when mm. they win it's in spite of him, not mm. because of him. That was not the case yesterday. Yeah. He threw 250 yards. QBR was only 35. Let's, mm -hmm. not, let's, not, let's not act like, oh, my Lord, mm. he looked like Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. But he threw a good pass. He ultimately delivered the goods, won the football game. He deserves a lot of credit for it. But at the end of the day, he's still Jay Cutler. Mm. I don't say, and I, by the way, I also want to give him credit for playing with the hamstrings, not mm -hmm. fully healed. Yeah. He raised, scrambled mm -hmm. a couple of times. A lot of credit you know, being I, given here. Well, I just, I didn't see him on a sideline backpedaling mm -hmm. on his no, bicycle. he wasn't. I saw he was him. Front -pedaling. He, he, front, he was front pedaling. He was front on his bicycle. He couldn't back pedal in the pocket. I'm sorry, I got that confused. Couldn't back pedal in the pocket, but could front yes. pedal on the sideline. Yes. I didn't see that yes. yesterday. Yes. So he deserves a lot of credit. I'm happy for the city of Chicago yeah. that a man they're paying over $50 million to in guaranteed mm -hmm. money finally decided to show up yeah. and earn okay. a portion of his dollars. Okay. He did yesterday. <laughs> we'll see if it continues. Okay, I'm going to let you off the hook this Monday. He does not deserve yet an apology from the great Stephen A. He ain't Smith, getting an apology from But me. he does deserve a benefit of the absolute doubt with which you condemn him week after week after week. He's earned that over the last two how, weeks. How? Because I remind you, the Oakland Raiders are a fine young football team yeah. and they had Jay Cutler in big trouble at he Chicago last find week. Ways to lose. Yeah, and Jay Cutler managed to find a way to lead a game-winning field goal drive after Derek Carr had led what looked like a game-winning right, drive the right, other way, right? right? right, right and then right. yesterday at Arrowhead, not an easy place to play, it can get pretty loud in there, you have no Alshon. You have no Eddie Royal. Obviously, the whole year you have. Which Rod's going to? Okay. Yeah. What about Kevin White? Remember Kevin White? Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought he was going to be even a little yeah. better than Amari Cooper was. Yeah. We haven't seen don't, him all year. Yeah, don't we see that. Okay. Well, I'm just Never saying. Never believe okay. that. And 
Without those guys, with th throwing to nobody you've ever heard of, Jay Cutler threw two fourth quarter touchdown passes, and the last one you spoke of, he went Tony Romo against your Giants. Low snap, you know, basically bounce back to him. He scoops it up and in, in the same motion flips a beautiful throw to Forte for the game-winning mm -hmm. touchdown. Mm -hmm. And I gotta tell you, because I was watching the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. Jay Cutler made some fourth quarter throws only a handful of quarterbacks in this league yeah. are well, well, capable well, well, of making. Well, 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 we will concede that. The fact is we've never denied that Jay Cutler has the ability to do these mm -hmm. things. The question was his interest in doing it. Mm -hmm. And well, I will remind you, Skip Bayless, that it's been four games that this man has played this season. He's completed 60% of his passes. He's thrown six touchdowns, three mm -hmm. interceptions. His QBR is 51, which is average. Mm -hmm. And let's also remember this one key element, Skip Bayless, that we simply really, really don't want to forget. When we look at Jay Cutler, we're talking about his interest, his level of apathy. Mm -hmm. That's what we question about this man as opposed to his ability so once again what we sit here and we're acknowledging is mm -hmm. that he seems to be a bit more interested he seems to be more interested in performing mm -hmm. and leading this team mm -hmm. to victory yep. i am questioning whether or not that attitude is going to last okay. it is beautiful to see the man finally step up in a stadium in a game and actually Earned his money. Oh my lord. Oh, Thank my lord? you so much okay. for earning your money. Since the only time we saw you enthusiastic is when you were signing the damn contract to collect the money. Okay. Don't get me started. There we go. Jake there Cutler. we go again. Okay. Pile it don't, on. Don't get me started yep. with okay. Jake Cutler. So, 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 it so, it's the truth. I, I'm here to say, to suggest that Stephen A. Smith is going to start to sweat over the next three or four Sundays because. At Lions comes up next week. They got a shot to win that game at the Lions. Well, they got a shot. They got a shot to win a lot of the games. The question is, will they? The Lions. That's a whole other story. Then they got the Vikings at home. Vikings are playing very well. But do the Bears have a shot against the Vikings? I'm sure they do. Then on the road against San Diego and on the road against St. Louis. Okay, but at at Chargers, and we'll see more about the Chargers coming up tonight, and we'll talk about that to end the show today. Yeah. But I don't know. Chargers are not. The Chargers anymore. They're not to the me. Chargers anymore. I totally agree with you, but Jay Cutler has never been what he's supposed to be, mm. even though he's paid like a star. Mm -hmm. One playoff victory in nine years. Right. Don't you two yep. ever, mm -hmm. ever approach me again. And the producers, don't you ever oh. approach me. Put that camera on oh, me. Don't you go. ever oh. sit yeah. there and present a yeah. question asking me to apologize mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. dude who should apologize to the city of Chicago for robbing them of money so over the last Tiger. three years. Settle he down. has robbed them. He has been I, I think, a joke. I think and he I earned stand his money by yesterday. Oh, but it's right, yesterday. Right, Congratulations. All right, all right. Uh, congratulations. we got to go to break, and we wish Jamal Charles a speedy recovery. Yeah, hate seeing him go down. Michael Vick will take center stage tonight on Monday Night Football. The guys will tell us what they expect after the break. First Take is brought to you by Ford Service. When your Ford needs service, you need the specialists at Ford. And Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Tonight, it's the Week 5 edition of Monday Night Football at 8.15 Eastern on ESPN. Steelers take on the Chargers. Coverage begins with Monday Night Countdown at 6 on ESPN. So you just heard it. Michael Vick and Phillip Rivers tonight at Qualcomm. Both teams are 2-2. Two and two. Stephen A., you just spent some time in Pittsburgh around this organization. Sat down with Mike Tomlin. That interview will air on Countdown. What do you expect from Vick tonight? Well, I expect him to do some damage because I expect him to feed Antonio Brown the ball. But primarily, Le'Veon Bell should see a lot of action. You can run on the charges. Mm -hmm. You can expose their secondary to some degree. Remember, Martavis Bryant comes back. He's going to be playing mm -hmm. in this game along with I, I don't think he's going to play tonight, is I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think I know he's eligible to play. Yeah. You got Brown, you got Bryant, you got Wheaton, yeah. you got Miller. I'm just looking at all of these guys, and I'm saying, look, they, and Todd Haley, who I also spoke to, mm -hmm. sat up there. Very nice to me, by the way. He's very nice. But he spoke to me, and he said, look, we got a week under Vic's belt. Mm -hmm. We expect good things to happen this weekend. I believe them against these charges, plus the weather conditions should be good. So you like Pittsburgh I'm to picking pull Pittsburgh this one out? I, I am, too, and I, I'm with you. you got to feed it to Le'Veon and mm -hmm. to D'Angelo Williams and play defense even though their defense is a little beat up and and I think they can beat a reeling Chargers team on a, a big Monday night stage in which Michael Vick has always played pretty well under the brightest lights and I think he'll play pretty
pretty well, but you cannot put the game in his right. hands on, on fourth down plays at the end of the Sandy, game. And no excuse, too, because San Diego's ranked 28th against the run. Yeah. You should, Le'Veon Bell should see the ball. Both are you taking Steelers on the road with Vic? Can I get a yeah. score? Low scoring. I got yeah. low scoring, like 2017. I'm picking the Steelers 31 23. Wow. All right. Points. Good stuff today, guys. We got a lot that was left on the cutting room floor, though, to get into tomorrow. The cutting College room. football. It's the cutting room. The cutting room. Yeah. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>